I'm sure that most of you can name a few religious festivals like Christmas or Easter. Perhaps you know some from other religions besides Christianity like Diwali or Hanukkah. But actually, the word festival means a day or period of celebration, so it doesn't have to be religious at all. Humanism is not a religion, because religions all have a belief in God or the supernatural. Humanists believe that everything in existence is natural and can be explained by science. So we say that humanism is a belief system or a world view because it's all about a particular way that humanists view the world. Most humanists will celebrate the main religious festivals in the place that they live because all festivals have a link to community and culture, like getting the family together to eat Christmas dinner or exchanging presents. But humans would be unlikely to go to midnight mass for Christmas or to go to church on a Sunday at Easter. That said, there are certain days in the calendar that humans do mark as a day of celebration. One of these days is called Make a Difference Day. It's held on the fourth Saturday of every October. And it's only started quite recently. It has been going for 25 years. It started in America as a way to get more people to volunteer their time for the single mission to improve the lives of others. In the UK, we're quite used to festivals where we receive as well as give gifts, like presents or chocolate eggs and so on. But this festival is all about helping other people without expecting anything back in return. I wonder who you would think to help. Your parents? Grandparents? Brothers or sisters? What about helping your teacher? What about somebody that you don't know? What if they wouldn't be able to give you anything in return? We often see stories in the news about people less fortunate than ourselves. It's sometimes hard to know what to do to help. The problems just seem so big, you might think, what could I possibly do to make a difference? That reminds me of a time when I was a teacher and I went on a teacher training day. There was a man there who wore a silver starfish badge on his jacket. It looked quite unusual, so I asked him what it meant. Was it a sign that he was a part of a club, perhaps? The man said that he just saw it in a shop and bought it because it reminded him of the starfish story. I wasn't too sure what he meant by that, so he told me the starfish story. He said, there's a child walking along a beach after a storm, and on this beach there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of starfish that have been washed up and they're stuck there on the sand, dying in the heat of the sun. The child then starts to pick up the starfish and throw them back into the sea. A man's walking along the beach and he says to the child, why don't you go home and play? You're wasting your time here. There are thousands of starfish. Throwing these few back won't make a difference. So that, the child picks up the next starfish and throws it back into the sea. He turns to the man and says, well, it made a big difference to that one. The man with the starfish badge told me that he goes out to help teach in a school in the Gambia, which is a very small country on the western side of Africa. Many of the people in the Gambia are very poor, and the schools often lack things like pens and books and furniture, all the things that you have in your school. Some of them don't even have enough teachers there. So every year he travels over to spend one week in this school taking with him a few pens and books and supplies, and he helps to train the teachers out there. He knows that he can't help everyone. In fact, across the world, 260 million children don't get the opportunity to go to school. But instead of just staying at home, saying that he can't make a difference, he does what he can. He goes out to this school and makes all the difference to those children and the teachers at that particular school. Many humanists will try to use Make a Difference Day as a reminder that we can all do something to make a difference. 
you don't have to fly to Africa and teach in a school. It might just be a very small gesture, something that doesn't cost a lot or take a lot of effort. For example, we often feel like we're living in a rather unfriendly kind of world. Now, what could we do about that? Perhaps we could make an effort to smile more at people for a day. Or perhaps we could give out compliments to help people feel good about themselves. Or maybe if you're in the local park and you see some litter, just pick a little bit up and put it in the bin. And then at least that one area will be cleaner. Humanists don't try to help other people because it's written down in a book or because we're told to, or because we think we're going to get a reward later on. Humanists try to do good things because we feel it's the right thing to do in our heart. Whether or not you wear a starfish badge, try to keep the starfish story close to your heart to protect you from giving up before you've even started. It can help to remind you that we can all make a difference, whether that's on Make a Difference Day or any day.